The architectural tools are provided to help you draw architectural drawings and sketches. Walls are drawn as a special entity type with an actual scaled width or thickness. To use this single wall tool, pick two points as a starting point and an ending point for each wall segment. You can also click and drag to the end of the wall. The multi-wall tool allows you to pick a point, drag to the second point, and continue picking points. Walls are not extended to maintain connectivity. We'll add another wall intersecting this horizontal wall. Notice that the intersection is cleaned up automatically. And the intersections are also automatically cleaned as you move the wall along the other. Moving it all the way to the end, you'll find that it even creates the corner properly. To move a wall and maintain its relationship with other walls, drag around the endpoints of the wall and its adjacent walls. Move it to a new location and it keeps the endpoints connected. To move a wall endpoint, simply drag around that single corner and drag that point with your mouse. Now let's delete these walls and talk about the options for walls, the wall styles. Click the options button that's displayed once the wall tool is active. Wall styles allow you to create walls made up of components. These components are used to graphically represent the makeup of wall materials. For instance, this stud wall, the insulation, the siding, even the sheetrock inside. We've chosen three components. You set the thickness for each of the wall materials and you also set the color and pattern. And the third thickness will set for three-fourths of an inch. Now we'll begin drawing walls. Zoom in and you'll notice that one of the fills is not present. We'll delete this and we'll go back to the wall options and you'll notice that the fill in the bottom, number three, is set for none. It needs to be set for a solid fill as the fill type. And now you'll see that fill appear in the wall style as we draw it. And now we'll zoom in closer and notice the hatch fill in the first component. It's yellow. We'll go back to the wall options and you'll see that the hatch pattern is drawn with the color chosen. So we'll choose a dark brown and now we'll draw another wall and you'll see that the pattern is drawn with that brown color. Notice that as I stretch out this wall, wall fills are associative. Now we'll add another wall of a different style connecting to it. Set components to one, solid fill, we'll change the color to yellow, and change the thickness. This is the scaled width of the wall. We'll change it to four inches and we'll connect it. And we'll just add one more wall using our other style. Now in looking at this wall style, you'll notice that it's not symmetric. That means that one side of that wall style is meant to be the outside and the other meant to be the inside. Let's set up another wall style. Hatch, color, thickness, 
set for two inches. And you'll notice that the total thickness is updated in that dialog box as you change the values. Draw a couple of connected walls, going clockwise in this case, going counterclockwise in this case, and now we'll zoom in. As you get closer, you'll see that the styles are switched. Using wall styles is in fact dependent upon the direction that the walls are drawn. So, in the first case, we'll use the center line wall tool. So we're going counterclockwise, and you'll see that in fact those lines go through the center line regardless of which direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. The next wall tool the inside wall tool. Remember the top going down and to the right is drawing counterclockwise. So you're drawing with the inside edge going in a counterclockwise direction. Now if we try this again going in a clockwise fashion you'll see you're drawing with the outside edge of the walls even though you're using the inside wall tool. So it's dependent upon the direction or order of points you're picking to place the walls. Now we'll choose the outside wall tool. First draw in a counterclockwise fashion. And you'll see that we're actually identifying the outside edges of our wall. Going clockwise it switches and you're identifying the inside edges. Direction is the key as you're using the inside and the outside wall tools.